Hello, welcome to part two of All My Days by Alexi Murdoch. I'll just play what we've got so far. Okay, that's what we've got so far. You'll notice that I looped the, the verse part round twice. Uh, so in between, like I said, you go back to the bit, this bit. So after after this, sorry. You go back to this. But um, as it happens, you don't play that whole sequence like I taught you earlier in part one. You play um, just the majority of it and you miss out the last few notes. So I'll play through how you play it and then go straight back into the verse. Okay, so you just play the six, two, six, three, six, and then back in, rather than, rather than playing the six, four, six, two, six, right at the very end, okay? Okay, that's the whole sequence, but we only play it like this. Like I said, it's just a little bit short, it's like five or so notes missing at the end. Um, so that's how he plays it. So this now into the chorus, which is practically we've already learned the chorus, so um, it's just a case of reconfiguring what we've already learned. So the as the verse finishes of my days. And then uh, the the chorus itself is the very last part of the verse. And I've been trying to find what's been in my mind. So that that's exactly the same as the end of the verse. difference is that very end it goes all the days keep turning into night so that is sixth fret again on the fifth fret sorry fifth fret on the sixth string six four six three down to the second fret on the sixth string use my thumb here six four six three Back up, six, four, six, three. Back down, six, four, six, three. And then. So that sounds like this. the whole of the chorus so hopefully you picked that up next uh, is the tricky bits and hopefully I can do these justice for you so the next bit after he does the verse and chorus I did the verse and chorus again in between he plays 
forward then and comes back into the verse. Okay, so after the second time he goes through everything, um, he comes into kind of a bit of an interlude where he plays a bit of a weird bit, which is the same as part of the intro now, okay? So this is how he plays that. Okay, that's the first part of it, so I'll teach you that now, okay? First part's exactly the same as the, as the regular sequence. Okay, instead of going to two at the end, he puts his finger on the fourth fret of the third and plays the third there, okay? So it's... And then he goes into... So that is, you play the open fourth to begin with, hammer up to the second fret. Play the open fourth, hammer up to the second fret, then the open third, and then six. Okay? And then four again, six. fourth again, hammer it to the fourth fret and then lift off and play open. And then back onto the uh, back to the open six and then the second fret on the third. And then six, four, six, two. Okay? these bits together we've got okay and then back into the main part so let's play all as it should be played. mind that that is what he plays in the intro as well so this is halfway through the song he plays that next part is straight after this bit basically and he plays another uh, one of them so to explain this bit Instead of doing the hammer on to the 4th fret with your ring finger, you basically hammer on to the 2nd fret with your index finger. 6, 4, hammer up, open 3rd, and then 6, 4, and hammer up to the 2nd fret on the 3rd. in okay similar like that um sorry I keep making mistakes that's that's the gist of it okay so just rewatch that and uh listen along with the song and practice so that'll be it, do it for part uh two part three i'll teach you the outro and the other little bit um the other little variation on the picking that he does. And there's another
another little variation bit too that I'll teach you and then the outro. So we're going out to part three and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.